Hello, welcome to our fifth and final video. We are concluding our video series with a discussion of research and the nonprofit sector. Research initiates, monitors, and concludes the problem solving process. Research is an essential ingredient for making public relations a management function. Research is used in the preparation, implementation, and impact phases. Let's talk for a moment about the difference between formative research and summative research. Formative research is done before and during the program, provides a lot of information about the conditions, uh, the situations involving the publics. It provides a baseline of data that will later be used for your documentation in the summative phase. Summative research is conducted at the end of the program and it assesses the impact. It just shows what effects did occur and what didn't occur. From a research perspective, the industry is adopting more rigorous standards. You'll find, if you go online to prsa.org, you will find the Barcelona Principles, which are a series of guidelines designed to promote accurate measurement based on specific goals. I'm happy to say that the Barcelona Principles move away from an industry uh, fallacy of ad value equivalency that was used to take uh, news articles and assign them a comparable advertising rate if the individual, the corporation, or the nonprofit had actually purchased the media space. This is a, a fallacy, and ad value equivalency is really changing in our industry as a non-valid metric. So I would encourage each one of you to take a look at the Barcelona Principles online. As we move into Chapter 17, the final chapter that you will read, we will see the use of professional communications in the nonprofit sector. The nonprofit sector continues to provide a wide array of entry-level job opportunities for communicators because the burden in our society is now being placed on nonprofit organizations to fill gaps in which corporations or government entities have not been able to fulfill. So nonprofit organizations today utilize a wide variety of communication techniques, including public relations, advertising, um, event management strategies, direct marketing, to really reach their key constituencies and establish that two-way flow of communications that we've talked about with the Wilbur Schramm model. I encourage each one of you to get involved in a nonprofit organization and donate your time as a professional communicator. This not only will give back to your community, but it will also provide you with real world uh, experience that you can place on your resume as you go out to get that first job in communications. I encourage each one of you to get involved in the Public Relations Society of America student chapter here at Clemson, the PRSSA chapter, and to continue to enhance your knowledge base through communications. Thank you for your attention and diligence during this course. Please be sure to take the second test and complete your final news release. Thank you.